All right. Well, you know the movie MTV Movie Awards were last night. Mm -hmm. right? And here to break down who soared on the red carpet and who sunk <laughs> as one of fashion's finest, Philip Block. Hey, Phil. Philip Block. Welcome back. So good to see you. I don't know what's going on uh -oh. when Nicki Minaj looks sane and Lapita looks a little crazy. <laughs> I don't know. All right. All we're right. going to get well, all into that. We'll get there. Uh, 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 I don't know what to say. To <laughs> okay, you go. So we've got that out of the way. Okay, let's start with Jessica Alba. She's wearing Kenzo. What'd you think? Perfection. Perfection. She got the trend, wow. the high-waisted skirt. How do you wear it and not look slutty? Mm -hmm. I think she did it great. This is how you do it. Could be cute for cocktail, could be daytime, could be evening. She just did in the oversized clutch, very in this season. Jessica just about always gets it right. And it's oh. all about the crop top this season. But again, and the high waist. And the high waist. And yes. the high so waist, and that's how you wear trend. them. And, it, and that's the smallest part of everybody's body. Sure. So you want to get that little nipped in waist right up there. Oh, right. That's a good tip. Now, you already brought this up, so let's get to it. <laughs> Nicki Minaj. Okay, she was in this Alexander McQueen dress. She looks amazing. <laughs> what happened? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> it's very demure for her, but what do you think? Well, it is definitely revealing down the side, and that's what makes it Alexandra McQueen and the bold gold jewelry. Mm -hmm. It was all about the bold gold jewelry. That body is banging. When she stood next to Kate Upton, you had to go, hmm, mm -hmm. she's holding her own. She's holding okay. her own. And the makeup is understated, the hair is understated. It's a nice look for Nicki Minaj. I think she should stay in this lane. I think everybody is kind of learning Gaga, Nicki, Rihanna, that it's just way too much. Everybody... Sex sells, craziness doesn't. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, speaking of sex selling, Rita mm -hmm. Ora, yes. she's letting it wow. all hang out in this <laughs> Barbara Casa Sola dress. Too much or just right? <laughs> uh -oh, really? I love it. I, I think it's amazing, and I think she can get away with it. I think her breasts are just the right size for this dress. <laughs> okay. You know, she's working it, and she's the one to watch. This is about really? to be her year. Why is that? I just think she's hot. Everybody's into her. She's starting to get the covers of the magazines. Mm -hmm. She's been undercurrent for quite a few years. Yeah. Everybody in New York, we've known who she is. People have been pushing her for years now, and nobody on the outside of the industry really new, but she's in Fifty Shades of Grey. Mm -hmm. She's about okay. to be a big star. We'll definitely keep our eyes on her as we're keeping our eyes on Cameron Diaz. Now, she says she doesn't believe in monogamy, <laughs> but I think she should definitely be faithful to the Stella McCartney dress. What do you think? Absolutely. I love it again. Another great trend, the high waist, mm -hmm. and she did it with a, the dress kind of matching with it. It looks high-waisted. Mm -hmm. And then the big florals. Florals are really big this season. Really? But she did kind of the tone-on-tone -tone floral with it, which I think is really beautiful, mm -hmm. great for her figure. And again, could be cocktail, could be daytime. You could dress it up. You could take this outfit to the office or wear it to the MTV That's Awards. That's true. Put a little blazer on it and for the office, take it off, and then you've got Absolutely. a party. Okay. All right. Well, Shailene Woodley in Balmain. I think she looks great, but should Amazing. she wow. diverge from this look <laughs> or oh, no. keep it? This is great. I'm not a fan of the shoe, just that whole gladiator shoe oh, booty okay. thing. It, it crops the leg in a funny place, but the dress, bang, and the little skirt and top, again, mm -hmm. high-waisted. If you don't have a high-waisted skirt, you better get one. You better, better rock or chic, right? right. Absolutely, and, 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 I, and I love Shailene. She's got a real innocence about mm -hmm. her. She's so sweet. I, I met her out at the when we were all out at the Oscars. I met yeah. her at the Spirit Awards, and she's just such a nice girl next door. But she's looking hot and rocker chic, like mm -hmm. you said. Okay. She sure is. And right. she brought anything but drab to this olive green, because that is not a great color yeah, for anybody. That is not an easy color to pull off at all. And <laughs> yeah, she, she worked. And again, simple hair, simple makeup. She yep. let the dress do the talking. It, it worked. All right. So another one you mentioned that may not have worked so well for you was Lupita and Yango. She normally gets oh. it right all the time, but she's in this Chanel outfit and I don't know it's a little bit of a miss for me it's a lot going on uh, what, what happened uh, I like the blue shoe uh, <laughs> come on, <Phillip. laughs> no this dress on video is amazing she did a cute little uh, video on Instagram where she talks about her million followers she just got to number one million and it sparkles that's all sequins on the sleeve but mm -hmm. all that kind of faux African work you know it sort of looks like it's trying to be tribal or African and it's trying to be funky that? that's what I'm calling it well it doesn't well yeah Chanel uh, sometimes Carl here's the thing you would think okay the name Lupita and the name Chanel in mm -hmm. the same sentence that sounds like magic but yeah. then you see this and you just think oh no what happened but here she never gets it wrong so never will allow her 
Her dreams are valid. Maybe the we're dress behind wasn't. the trend. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe we're behind the trend. I don't know. It's a little too busy. That's yeah. the issue, It's just right? too busy. A lot going I, on. But I, I love that she did something different. Okay. Let's, let's give her that. She did something different. And I love the little blue shoe with it. I maybe would have done a red or a white with it or even a black. But I like the little blue. And again, from here up, it was magical. Mm -hmm. In video with the sequins sparkling. Right. Well, wouldn't but, you say also if there was ever a time to be a little bit more daring, it would be at the MTV Music This movie is the place. place. Okay. Oh, this yeah. is the place. And Jared liked it. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Jared, like that really is all that matters at the end of right. the day. Right? Isn't it though? <laughs> Let's talk about Leslie Mann and Juan Carlos. Oh, oh my mom called. She wants her dress back. Oh, oh Philip. Oh, she's got to get to the carpool. I oh. mean, like, did she drop the kids I'm off serious. on the way to kindergarten in this? What, what's, no, I mean, oh. okay. tell me you're excited about that dress. I'm not excited. Thank you. Okay. I'm not thrilled, but I'm not. Upset. I'm not upset. I'm just bored. You're just yeah. bored. I'm bored. All right. I was overexcited with Nikki, and then Lapita sent me over the edge, and I took a nap. You took a nap <laughs> during <laughs> Leslie. All right. So you've well, taken your disco nap. Yeah. So let's talk exactly. about Iggy Azalea and Galliano. Did the this she... look wake you up? Yeah. Mashugana. Oh, <laughs> Mashugana. Oh, no. It's crazy. Yeah. I don't know. John, John Galliano. <laughs> he, has a, he has a thing with the Jews. So Mashugana is a, a Jewish minute. word. Oh, you know. I'm just. I'm giving an homage to John. Circle back to the look. Iggy the Azalea. look, John Galliano, look, uh, it's just a mess. And the shoes, oh my God, the worst part of it is the shoes. You can't even see all the shoe is just hideous mm. and from the side. And it doesn't do her figure justice and there's way too much going on and not enough going on and it's pulling at the hips. Look at that creases there. Mm. That's just, eh. So that's um, two thumbs down for you. Two, two thumbs, thumbs down. down. Look at the shoe, look at that shoe. Oh, it looks like and the line. length, and yeah, it's, it's just all wrong. But when she presented, uh -huh. she had that high-waisted black skirt, really cute, mm -hmm. with a little crop top again. It just feels right. It's so funny when trends come for a reason and our eye gets used to it, and we thought, mm -hmm. high-waisted, when did you ever love high-waisted? Yeah. But now it just suddenly seems so right. Mm -hmm. So our eye is getting used to it. It's all about the crop top showing just a little sliver just of little skin, sliver. not too yeah. much. Let's give you a taste. Yeah. Just a okay. taste. Just All an right. appetizer, no entree. Someone else gave us a taste last night, Rihanna. No, she gave us a full Whoa. entree. A <laughs> full entree. <laughs> okay, so is this bedroom chic, or is this, should this look just have been left in the hamper? Well, <laughs> they say Beyonce woke up like this. Rihanna went to bed like that. Oh. I mean, come on this now. Is not I mean, for you. no, not mm -hmm. for me. And is that a bathing suit under there? What the hell is going Aww. on under there? I mean, this is just. <laughs> <laughs> of everything that's out there, this is the best you can come up with. She's kind of been in this kind of pajama thing. She did a pajama suit to something it's else true. recently. Yes. She's in this kind of less constructed, flowy, casual. Maybe she's telling you something about her and Drake's relationship. Maybe. Been in the room a lot lately. <laughs> oh, <my> <laughs> I mean, she is so beautiful. You can't go wrong. And thank God she got rid of those that wave thing from the last time. Remember the oh, hair with the oh. yeah. the doobie. The doobie, yeah. yeah. But yeah. I mean, she likes to cause controversy. Mm -hmm. And I guess that was the point of this, but it was sort of just controversial for the fact that it looks like lingerie. But she still rocks it, though, I think. Oh, She's yeah, beautiful. look at the body, look yeah. at the legs, Beyonce. look at that face. Yeah, exactly. She can do no wrong. Right, can't she? wear a garbage bag. She's still gonna be like, oh, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Linda Perry. She's rocking Pharrell's hat. You know, <laughs> and, golly and gee. Suit. I mean, I love this androgynous menswear moment. I yes. love the idea of it, but the execution, what do you think? Sloppy. Sloppy. And I don't think that Arby's is going to be buying that hat. Oh, <laughs> no. Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, they bought Pharrell's hat for like Pharrell's 40 hat. million yeah. or something. It was some ridiculous yeah. numbers. I'm, I don't remember okay. how much, but okay. it's just a little sloppy, you know. I love when the girls step out and they do the little androgyny thing, the skinny jeans. Mm -hmm. Just make it fit. Just mm -hmm. make it fit okay, a so little more. Almost there, but not quite. Yeah, you know, I, you and can ditch see the, the belt. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah okay. the belt. It's a brown belt, <laughs> really. Belt. I mean, Too much. Oh, yeah, yeah, Cowboy. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so if you had to pick best dress, worst dress, who would you go for? Oh, wow. I'm going for Jessica Alba and okay. Rita Ora and Nikki. You know, I got to give it to Nikki because she just really, <laughs> I, I thought she looked so beautiful last night. Mm -hmm. No bells and whistles, no gimmicks, just some bold gold, and she looked hot. And worst, I'm going to, well, I don't have to say that last one was pretty bad. But. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Okay. <laughs> fair enough, fair and Iggy Azalea, that was just messy. Well, let's focus uh, on the Pita, positive. A three-way yes. three tie. Three-way tie, Nicki exactly. Nicki Minaj and Jessica Alba. But That's you know perfect. what? Where were all the big stars? Where was Jennifer know. Lawrence? Where was Sandy Bullock? I don't Oh. You know, this is one of those award shows. I'm going to tell a secret. They're not going to like it. Okay, tell but a secret. We love a secret. People don't come if they're not going to win. They know who's going to win. Oh. 
So you notice, you never okay. see a loser yeah. in the audience That's there. Very it's very yeah. interesting. That and the People's Choice Awards, yeah. they know. You could be winning. Are you free that night? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. But it's interesting because I really thought, this is MTV. Mm -hmm. This is where careers are made mm -hmm. and big stars show up. It was very lackluster in this, when Cameron Diaz is the big star there, and I love Cameron, she's one of the highest mm -hmm. grossing female stars, right. and I've, we've been besties for years back, but. Look at uh, you name dropping Cameron Diaz. No, no, back well, in the day. On that note, yeah. back in the to day. Go. Cameron and I. Cameron, call me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> While you and Cameron are hanging Cam. out. Yeah. You and Cam Cam are hanging out. Shannon and I are going to go to break. That's right. Shannon and I are going to go to break. <laughs> my low. Yeah. You're watching the Rise Entertainment 360.